What's up guys, it's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. Today I'm gonna to give you guys a seven month update on the Ulla Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. Yes, I've been using it for seven whole months now. I started using this on October 14th of 2019 and I did a full 30 day extensive review of this product. And if you guys wanna see how this product transformed my skin, definitely be sure to check out that video first. I'm gonna be linking it down in the description box below. Now if you guys don't know what the Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner is, it is a really powerful toner that has both glycolic and lactic acid in it that really help reduce the appearance of dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles. And this also has a bunch of other ingredients that really help to brighten and smooth the overall appearance of the skin. What really drew me to this toner in the first place was how gentle this seemed to be. It says it was gentle enough to use every single night, which I thought was amazing because I have really sensitive skin as well. And a lot of exfoliators really tend to irritate my skin. I also really liked how this was a chemical exfoliator. As someone who has acne, it's really easy to irritate the acne with physical exfoliant so chemical is definitely the way to go. Now, when I tried this out for the first 30 days, which I highly recommend you go watch that video, I was so incredibly amazed at how this reduced the appearance of my acne scars and my skin definitely looked brighter and felt so much smoother. I noticed foundations were going on my skin so much more beautifully than they did before I was using this product. At the end of the 30 days, I really felt like I just had clearer skin overall. But now that I've been using the product for the past seven months, I've definitely learned how to work with this product for it to best benefit my skin and I've definitely changed things up since I've done the 30 day review. But before I go into those details, let's just get an up and close personal look at my skin right now. Now I will say ever since I filmed the 30 day review, I don't feel like my skin has gotten any brighter since then, nor do I feel like my skin has gotten any smoother since then. However, I do notice on days where I don't use this toner, my skin isn't as smooth as it is compared to when I do use this toner. I feel like not only do I break out a lot less, but I feel like anytime I do break out, and yes, I still experience breakouts. I just had one, hence the scarring on my chin right now, but it literally lasted two weeks and this helped speed up the process so much. Anytime I start experiencing a breakout or anytime I just feel like a big pimple forming, it can take a couple weeks to like a month for it to really go away and just be gone. However, with this toner, it usually takes only about one or two weeks for the breakout to go away. I just feel like if I have a cystic zit, it just kind of brings the acne to the surface and it forms a whitehead and then the acne kind of just goes away by the end of the week. And this kind of brings me to the point of how I've changed using this product since my 30 day review. During the 30 day review, I did use this every single night because it did claim you could do that. However, I noticed like around the two or three month mark, I was starting to get acne kind of on my cheeks and I normally don't get acne on my cheeks. And they were honestly really interesting pimples. They weren't whiteheads. It wasn't really cystic acne. They were kind of just bumps that would appear and then I would lay off of this for a few days and then they'd go away. Because that kind of started happening and I've heard that it's just not really good to exfoliate your skin every single day. It's a bit intense on your skin. I've definitely cut back on how I use this. I typically use it between three to four times a week. So almost every other day or maybe like every two days, it just really depends on how my skin is feeling that week. I tend to use it anytime my skin starts feeling a little dull or lackluster. Anytime I start experiencing a breakout, that is when I will go in and use it every single night. And that just dramatically helps the breakout. And then once the breakout kind of calms down, I'll reduce my usage again and go to that two to three times a week. I've also dramatically cut back on how much of this I use. I know in my 30 day video, I was like literally saturating the cotton pad. I no longer do that. I only do like a couple drops here or there, just enough to get the, a little section of the cotton pad wet. And I also noticed in my 30 day review, I was really rubbing that product in. I no longer do that. So I'll quickly just wipe it across my face, but on days where I have a breakout, which is usually on my chin, I will go in and just gently massage the product. And I'll do the same to my nose as well because my nose can tolerate it a lot better. And I find that that's the best way to really help with the texture that's on my nose. So overall, should you be buying this toner? Should you be trying it out on your skin? Yeah, I think I would definitely recommend this to anyone with super sensitive acne prone skin. This toner also claims to be good for all skin types. There was no point where my skin felt dry using this toner, but I have super oily skin, so I don't know if that changes anything. Yeah, it's a really super gentle toner. I will definitely continue to finish up this bottle right here. However, I did purchase another glycolic toner that I'm very, very excited to use, and I'm really excited to film a 30 day review for you guys, but I really give a lot of credit to this toner for helping me just dive into the world of chemical exfoliants. I was always really scared to use glycolic acid and lactic acid, which I've learned my skin responds really, really well to. So I'm excited to continue learning about different kinds of toners, but this one will definitely remain in my heart as a toner that I just absolutely love. Definitely be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed my review and love these update videos where I update you literally months after I try out a product. And be sure 
sure to let me know down in the comments below if you've tried out this toner or if you've tried out any similar toners that you want me to try out because I would love to hear your suggestions. And if you really, really liked me and want to see more beauty and skincare videos, definitely be sure to hit the red subscribe button that is right down below. And be sure to ring the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. If you want to see my 30 day full extensor review of this Ula Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner, then be sure to click the video right down here. And if you want to see my absolute latest video, be sure to click the video that is right up here. I hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy and I will see you next time. Bye!